What a win from Ateta. What a win from the boys. But I'm so disappointed in what Ateta did today. Why? Why do you have to integrate players that you know that they are lagging behind? They have been, you know, they have been trying to pick up from for a very long time. You, you started Gabriel Jesus and Sterling. Why could you have done that in Premier League? We have Carabao Cup. We have other league, other other com domestic cups that you can use them. But why are you doing this to us? You just set the boys under unnecessary pressure today because we should have just won that game perfectly. Use the normal rest code. Trossard is on the bench. Martinelli is on the bench. Doing what? Do you want them to learn from mistakes? No. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't just set yourself under unnecessary pressure, trying to experiment things that are, that are not visible. This is not a physics uh, lab, nor chemistry lab. This is football. If you do anyhow, you will see anyhow. You don't have to. You don't have to just do do things the way you like, or you're doing unnecessary. Of course, you know that Saturday is a very very tougher side. Look at our head to head, our last five matches um, against Saturday. Saturday is one of the. I think last season, last season, Saturday denied us trophy. They denied us. Now you are doing that same thing. You know they are coming back from relegation and they've been struggling back to back in the Premier League since they are since, since they are coming back from a uh, uh, relegation. Now you know they are definitely going to you know scatter whatsoever plan. You you, you, you know yeah yeah they are going to scatter whatsoever plan that, that is onto you. Uh, of course you know you don't have to do that. All right. So part two, part the Thomas part two. When I saw the lineup, I was like, what is happening? I was so I was discouraged because I checked the lineup and I checked the substitution. I saw Kiwa. I saw Tomiyasu. No, okay. Tomiyasu is just coming back from injury, so and they might probably be a little, you know, just trying to figure out something because you can't just start him like that. Coming back from injury, you just have to give him a few minutes to get adapt to the to the boys. You know, you have to adapt back to the to the to what uh, because Timba is not around. Then you are putting Pate in the midfield. Of course, you should have just put uh, California uh, in the right wing because. You you did the same thing last last match, exchanging him when you brought in Kiwo. Use Kiwo. We know that Kiwo is not good offensively; it's good defensively. If it's defensively it's defensively that is going to play, let him play it. Don't just do any experiment that is going to cost you. You have you have you are, you are, you are, you are, you are just you are just setting yourself under unnecessary pressure because all these things are not necessary. When you are playing a big team, let us know that you are playing a big team. When you are playing a small team, boy, I, what I just loved today was the response. The, the equalizer was perfect. The response, the mentality, I think the, the mentality has, has changed. We are not playing like a big team. Because that is what a big team should, uh, should have just done. When they score you, you equalize fast and they pick up the tackling. You, I think the boys, the boys know, knew, knew, knew what they want. Because they felt like, okay, I'm very, I'm very sure that some of the players, they will, some of the players will be offended with that start. Because they know the right thing. Trussard is perfect. Since the since uh, uh, they got went on injury, Trossard has been you know doing the perfect thing has been you know he has filled up that, that space for us. Martinelli is, is getting into the game. He has picked up from the last two games. He has scored an assist. So why put him on the bench again? For what? Stanley Stanley just coming from uh, you know he's alone. He, he, he can't just get adapt to the you know to the pattern of the play. Bring him in. 70 minutes, 80 minutes, let him have a few minutes. Of course, you know, a player, it is normal for you to criticize player. Even when Abbas came into Arsenal, he was criticized, he like, he played more than like four games or five games, he couldn't score. But the consistency was there. Ateta kept using him before he got adapted and there was a penalty that day they gave him and he scored. And after that time, he started performing well. I feel like all the players, I'm not criticizing Stanley nor criticizing Gabriel. I know things happen in football, like there are ups and downs, but then this is not the right time for you to do that. You should do all of this. You should do it in Carabao Cup. You should do it in the EFL. Don't try it in Champions League and Premier League. Premier League is not just any out, any out team. At least I shouldn't try this again. If you try it again, I don't know. But if you are seeing this, if you are seeing this, please don't try it. It is not good. Why would you be doing something like that? Even if you use an uh, uh, Waneri, uh, it would have been sweet. You're still not using Jorginho. It's slow. Of course. No, no, you shouldn't do that. But I think, okay, I think what you are saying now is that you, you guys would have won this game first half. We would have won this game perfectly. Like, can't you see what Sani was playing? Can't you see what Gabriel Jesus was playing? A nine? For crying out loud, see the way you're playing. Stanley was just doing his normal, you know, normal nonsense that he's been doing in Chelsea. Watch the game, see the way, see the pattern. This pattern is even from Chelsea pattern. You don't just carry ball and just do your dazzling and dazzling and dazzling. Put the ball in the fucking net. Score goes for me. You just set all, all the fans on, on unnecessary pressure. We could have just won, we could have won in first half. Then come back second half and score more goals. But just set us, okay, see, they scored us then without responded. Imagine. But just so good that we responded well and we won the game.
three points is the aim. Right. Harvard is one player that I know. Like I said the other day, he always show up. But most Arsenal fans will still criticize him. But it seems like every day by day, he chips in that one goal that will make him play another match. I saw so, I saw one comment online. Ateta said, you just have to love Abbott. Yes, I think I'm beginning to like Abbott. I like him as my player, as, as a fan, as an Arsenal player, because I love every, every player in my team. I love them. But I think I'm beginning to like him because I think the energy is there, the struggling is there, the mentality, his mentality has changed. You can see that at least in the last five games for Arsenal, in all competition, he has contributed in assists and goals. I think he's about to just this player and he doesn't get tired. And he's lucky too. He's just so lucky that we will get this goal for whatsoever reason that you have to blame me. You still have to erase it out of your mind that no, 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 no. He this boy just, I think he's doing it. Of course, he's not a striker. But he was, you know, at the time improvised and okay, just felt like, okay, do this for us. And he has been perfect. I think it's normal to criticize a player when you are not playing good. Of course, you sometimes you lose form, sometimes you put form. But when players are now, we just have to do the necessary. I think Ateta believed in him and he showed that, okay, yes, I'm good for the job. And he has been playing perfectly, you know. He did, they, like, the collizing, like, you can see what happened today. Within a many minutes, we collide and the energy was there. And the guys, the boys, okay, how to do it? Okay, no, 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 no. This can happen in Emirates. Emirates Stadium, no, no, we don't tolerate that. And the Emirates Stadium now is a is a stadium now that you can't just come and pick out any three or just any point and think you can just go. Any match I'm playing in Emirates this season, at least, at least I'm going to win 90%, if not 100%. All right, so Trossard, Martinelli. They affected the game very well. They, you know, the effect of two of them, both of them on the pitch was amazing today. Coupled with Saka, because it seems like when they came on, Saka's flair was up. Saka, you know, integrated so fast with them. And, you know, they played a very good, fantastic forward ever football until you guys scored and scored again. Of course, you know when you're coming from bench, your mentality has changed. Because you've been watching what other players are playing. You want to come and set things to the right. Things that have been, you know, going wrong, you have to set it right. So, you know what is missing you know what you are supposed to fix so of course they are, they are, they are, they are, their substitution was perfect it came at the early time of the of the second half and introducing my uh, michael Mer, you know he also did his job today i think their pairing was perfect today they knew what they wanted to go and do i think i knew this i think i can tell me he doesn't know that uh, the pairing of uh Trossard and uh, martinelli lately has been perfect and has been contributing to go to goals of course, you shouldn't, you shouldn't put them on bench. If you are probably put Gabriel Jesus and uh, Abad today, uh, I say Abad, Gabriel Jesus and Gabriel Martinelli, streets would have been, 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 been need to be changed. But you're putting Sterling and Gabriel, uh, Gabriel Jesus. Two of course, people. no. Two people that haven't, you know, Gabriel Jesus have been, you know, have been down so lately. Like, you know, don't, don't just do something like that. You don't just do something in accord with that. Don't do any foolish experiment. This is Premier League. You are competing with Manchester City. You can see what Liverpool is doing. See what Chelsea are doing. Chelsea is trying to, you know, be on the list of the title contenders. So no time for slacking. No time for slacking. You don't have to lose guard. If you lose guard, you'll be dumped down. You'll be, you go, be, you go to the, to, to, to the bottom. So you don't do no necessary. I feel, I feel that substitution was perfect and it helped us. All right. So any final thought of the game? I just want Ateta to just relax his brain. Know what you're doing. This is Premier League. This is your third season. This is your third consecutive seasoning, running and running. And improvements are set in because I can see it. I can see the boys are hungry. I can see the you know the performance so far. We kept we, like we keep uh, we keep improving with our you know our performances. So I think Ateta needs to just sit down and he should go back to that game and watch it. Okay, this is what happened. This is what happened when I brought in new players. This is what happened. They scored the uh, the combination, the chemistry, you know, the flexibility, the compactness. Do the right thing at the right time. Don't do the wrong thing at the right time. I just want the boys, you know, to keep with this momentum. Like, the spirit, the spirit is high. You can see the fans, they were chanting, you know, go Gunners, go Gunners, go Gunners, not London. Yes, that is what I want. I want the guys to, you know, keep up with this momentum. Now, on to, like, this is uh, our, our last game for now, before the international break. So, by, um, by international break, we should be back. All right, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome.